Bye, Roy. Bye-bye. See you later. Time's up. I'm absolutely done with this now. This, is, this isn't a joke anymore. I, I honestly used to come on here and rant and like be a bit passionate and whatever, but still put jokes in. This is not a joke anymore. I'm, I'm honestly finished with this. Full time at the MX Stadium. The Scumbags from the Seaside, four. Crystal Palace, one. It is yet another game where I am sitting here and saying, what is the point of Roy being in charge? Since September, we've won three games of football and it, 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 the three wins have either been due to scraping it or relying on Eze and Elise to play well. That is literally all we're doing as a club now. How embarrassing is it that 3-0 down, Roy then brings on Michael Elise, a player who was limping off injured in a game literally three days ago, or four days ago, and then he gets taken off nine minutes later because he pulled up with a hamstring injury. How embarrassing that we're literally relying on Michael Elise to get us out of the 3-0 deficit. The two players, the debutants. I haven't made a video for Adam Watt and I apologise, but I wanted to see what opportunities Roy gave him. And he gave him quite a bit of time today. But he signed literally two days ago, not even that. Daniel Munoz signed three days ago, four days ago. They barely know anyone in this team. But because we're so desperate, we're literally playing these players. And I don't think Manoz or Wharton played all that bad. Yes, Wharton's mistake led to Brighton's third goal. But at the end of the day, you've got to look at everyone else in this team, in this squad. Nobody played well in that starting eleven. Yes, Mateta scored, but did that paper over the cracks? Not at all. Decent header, but the game was done. The game was done. Henderson coming off his line, he is Dog crap, playing Will Hughes as a 10. So you're telling me when Eze and Elise ain't fit, then Roy is literally going to resort to Jeffrey Schlupp and Will Hughes. Because if that's the case, then the rest of this season is going to be absolutely boring to watch. You've got Brighton fans singing Roy Hodgson, I want you to stay. Because they know we are not a threat whilst he is still manager. And while Steve Parrish is still owner of that club. A new banner came out today. Um, what was it? Parish and Co. It is time to go. And I think those banners literally say everything I need to say, guys. We have not... I, I cannot categorically come on here and say we've played well since September when we beat Man United. And even then, Man United were playing poorly. Probably when we played Wolves at home. That was how long ago? October, November, December, January, February. Five months ago, five months since I can categorically come up here and say that Palace played well and were the dominant side. Because in the other three games we've won, we weren't. I mean, we technically were against Brentford, but that was literally because Brentford's squad was awful and Eze and Elise carried us. I... I don't know what to say. And then it's funny... That this result puts Brighton in the European places. I'm not saying that Palace should be going for Europe. But Brighton are a side that have progressed the right way. The passion from Roberto De Zerbi when they scored. You know. It's just. Everything we want to be. And the fact we're comparing ourselves to our rivals is embarrassing in itself. Guys, I don't know where we're going as a football club. I know I keep saying it every single video, but seriously, I don't. Palace have nine days to make a decision. And we had ten days after the Arsenal 5-0 and they didn't sack him. But because it's 4-1 against our biggest rivals in the Premier League, let's be honest, when the fixtures come out, this is what we look for before any other fixture. Brighton, the two games of the year. That we look for. Biggest game of the season. You could have fooled me. Next game is at home against Chelsea. Then we've got Everton away. A place we've already proved at this season. That we're terrible at getting a result out of that ground. Then we've got Burnley at home. I can categorically say. I do not think we're better than any other club in the Premier League this season. If we'd have played like that at home to Sheffield United, we would not have come away with a win. Not a chance. That win papered over the cracks. 
Brighton are a lot better than us. Forget next level. Forget it. Because I sort of had a little bit of hope. If we can get this win today, we could go 12th, 13th in the league. And then we could push on from there. But no. Forget next level. Forget any kind of hope this club once had at the start of the season. Because we're going downhill. And fast. Luton picked up a point at Newcastle. Burnley came back from 2-0 down to draw against Fulham. I know it's only one point apiece. We're now five points above this relegation zone with teams going closer to us in the Premier League. If Nottingham Forest beat Bournemouth, we go down to 15th. And then what? I think Brentford have, have still got a play as well, so they could go uh, close to us. Everton got a point out of Spurs. I think we're going to be in a relegation battle, at the very least. Brace yourselves, guys, because I don't know where we're going as a football club. And I'm fed up of Parrish coming out and saying that, yeah, but there's not a lot of better managers out there from Roy. Well, how can it get a lot worse than this? How can it get worse than this? Seriously. Fuming. I I I'm fuming. That's it. Roy out. Done.